today's story is My Friend Earth, written by Patricia McLachlan, illustrated by Francesca Sana. Welcome, I'm Mint, and this is Mint Reads to the World. I'm so excited you're here. In this new channel, we'll share stories, spread hope, and continue to learn and grow. And in today's story, you'll learn all about new creatures and ecosystems, the seasons and how they change, how the earth is our friend, and the cool thing about this story is it has fun features hidden inside. So pay close attention as we turn each page. Let's jump in. My Friend Earth My Friend Earth wakes from a winter nap. She hears the busy spring sounds, the farmer's hoe tap tapping in the garden, the cause of crows. Do you see the farmer tapping in the garden? I do. She sees the little, the silent seed, the spider spinning silver, the robin and the wrens. And the large, the long-winged albatross crossing the sea, the mole tunneling in the underdark. She guides the chimpanzee to her night nest. And the zebra baby to find his mother in the hundreds of black and white striped mothers. She tends the prairie, where sun-dappled wild horses run through grasses that swish against their legs. The tundra, where the reindeer graze for moss, and the glistening ice, where the young polar bear pads on mitten feet. Do you see the polar bear on his mitten feet looking for fish? I do, too. She guards all the creatures and all the oceans, the black manta rays sleek like shadows, the shining parrot fish, the tiny krill who swim with millions of other krill to look big, and the whales who are big. My friend Earth pours the summer rain to fill streams flowing down mountains, through the fields, to the rivers, to the sea. Do you see our friend chilling in the water? Sometimes she pours too much rain, flooding towns and meadows and roads until she dries the land. Sometimes she blows fierce autumn winds, sweeping the limbs of trees and shingles from the roofs of barns. until she stills the wind so red and orange and yellow leaves float to the ground when cold comes again my friend earth sprinkles the snow whispers silent covering the dens where the baby black bears are born in salt darkness drifting over the icy pond where the turtle sleeps in mud settling into the empty nest of birds under the white, the silent seed is cradled in the dark soil, watching, waiting, to fly up again in the warm, bright sun of spring. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did. There's so many wonderful things the earth can provide, so we must care and protect and respect our earth. Oh, <laughs> there's our friend. Hey, before you go, I have a couple of quick questions for you. 
Welcome to the Quick Question Corner. Since reading this story, what did you discover about the Earth? And since this book talks about the seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall, do you have a favorite season? Why is it your favorite? And what things in nature are you most grateful for? Let's take a moment to think about it. Thanks for joining me. I had so much fun reading. Until next time, continue to share your stories because they help inspire the world. Don't forget to keep reading. Our next book is What Do You Do With An Idea? Bye!